Cool, so now we're going to learn the last little piece, and I switched the code around here. I put uh, Julian Schmidt's third-party servmux down here because in the servmux we're talking about handle func, and we haven't learned about that with the standard library yet. So, you know, using functions of a certain type of signature. So I want to show you that first. So I just reorganized the code to flip those around, and we're going to start with the same one that we just saw using the default servmux. We saw this before Julian Schmidt. So just take a second and. You know, we're using HTTP listen serve and we're doing 8080 and we're passing in nil as the handler, which means it's going to use the default serve mux. So at the top level of the HTTP package, we're just using handle and that registers with the default serve mux this route, run this code, right? And we pass a handler to that. So handle takes a handler, right? So we're going to start with that and we're going to just, you know, make this code a little bit easier to work with and just a little cleaner and leaner. And uh, to do that, instead of using handle, we're using handle here, right? If we go and we look at the standard library and we look at the index, um, here we have handle, and that takes a pattern and a handler. And then we have handle func, which takes a pattern and then a function with this signature. So we to pass functions around, they're a type, right? And so that's that's what it takes. So what's that look like? So we're going to copy this code right here. That's the one we left off on. I'm copying that file. I'm going to drop it right here in, under handle func. And I'm just going to call it nothing apparently. Let's try that again. Command C, Command V, and call it 01. Okay, so this is the handle func. So to make this handle func, first thing I need is handle func. All right? Handle func. So there's my handle func. And now for it to be a handle func, I don't need that. I don't need a receiver. I just need a function. I'm going to call this function D for my identifier, and I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of the receiver, and this one was serve HTTP, and as a you know attached to that, I'm going to just call this one C. Can you just do that again? Isn't that awesome? Right? It's just you know before I had all this stuff with handlers, you know, and it was handle and pass in a handler. Right. So now I could use handle func instead. Instead of having to do all this to create a handler, create a type, attach a method to it, the method's got to be like this. It's now a handler, create a variable of that type. I could pass that in as the handler. I don't have to do that. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do the serve HTTP method. I just say D, make a function. I'm calling it D and C just to match our sort of naming for what we passed in there and I do handle func, right? Because what handle func wants, handle func wants a function with that signature, a func with a response writer and a request, and here I have a func with a response writer and a request. And so that's all it needs. It gets a lot cleaner. And so that's, uh, that's what handle func is. Okay. All right, cool. So let's take this one. I'm going to drop it right here. I'll make it 24 hands on handle handle font. So turn this one into uh, all right. Use using turn this into using handle font instead of handle. Let me add it. Cool. 